we have heard about software developers web developers and stuff like that during our job description search right what do they really mean by full stack developer mean developer mern developer or a lamp developer right what do they really mean let's see what do they really mean by these terms right let's get started mean stack developer so what does it mean by a mean stack right so literally these are the abbreviations so m stands for mongodb mongodb as you know is the back end database uh, it is a no sql database i have done some videos on mongodb so you can check them out for uh, knowing what is mongodb and i have created a small spring boot application with mongodb as a back end so you can see how uh, we can use mongodb document store For storing our data, right? So that is MongoDB. So MongoDB is a database, right? So that is one part of the main stack. The next part is the Express JS. So Express JS is a framework uh, for the backend applications, which is written using JavaScript. So Express JS is a backend application uh, or a framework where you can write JavaScript code, right? So where do this Express JS run? They run on Node JS. So Node JS is a backend uh, server. for the javascript application so if you want to write a backend code using javascript you can use node js and node js is the technology where you can run the javascript so for example this chromium browser right so the chrome browser is uh, using the chrome's v8 javascript engine so node js is built out of that so sim- similar to how you have a backend uh, java application you can write javascript applications with the help of node js for backend processing so that is the backend for uh, the mongodb right the backend server and the ui technology is based on angular so angular is the framework for uh, creating ui so this is the main stack right m stands for mongodb e stands for express js which is a framework for uh, writing your backend javascript code and angular is for the front end code node js is where you will be running your back end express js application right so that is the main stack so what is a mern stack right mern stack same way m stands for mongodb e stands for express js instead of the angular js we are using react js here so react js is a library where you can use it for creating um, user interfaces using html and the, the javascript as a um ui part right so that is the mern stack so everything is same exactly similar to the main stack except that instead of the angular uh, technology or the angular framework here we will be using react library right so that is the mern stack so what is the lamb stack so lamb is a pretty older stack but still some people use the lamp stack for creating web applications so let's see what is this lamp stack for right so l stands for the linux so where your uh, um your back end processes will be running in or you have your um, code deployed into your linux machine right so that is the linux right a stands for apache so when you have a apache web server right http server basically where you can route your applications using apache right so that is the a and m stands for mysql database so that is the back end so lamb in the lamb uh, m stand for mysql which is nothing but the back end database and for p uh, it can be either python or um, php or even perl for that matter so that is why the stack is little bit old uh, perl is pretty old php is pretty old and mysql is also pretty old so literally lamb stands for linux apache mysql php or python or perl Right. So that is the lamp stack. So when that when somebody says lamp stack, that means this is the complete stack which they have worked on. So what does a full stack developer do? Full stack is basically uh, any UI technology, any backend technology, and any database technology. So when somebody says I am a full stack developer, that means they either know Angular or Express JS or React JS. 
or Node.js. For UI and for backend, they either use Node.js or any other backend technology and uh, like Apache as well. And the database could be MongoDB or MySQL or any other NoSQL database. So when they say full stack developer, that means they have worked on right from the UI till the end, the backend database, right? So from end to end, they have worked on all these technologies. So that is why they call themselves a full stack developer. So that is the full stack developer explanation, right? So that is what I wanted to cover as a part of this particular video. I hope you guys uh, understood what is a main stack, what is a MERN stack, what is LAMP stack and what does full stack mean. Hope you guys found this video interesting. Uh, if you are um, here for the first time in this channel, uh, go ahead and subscribe to it. You can find similar videos on all latest technologies on Spring Boot, uh, DevOps, Jenkins and stuff like that. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.